Good morning, Northwest. I'm Chanel, and I'd like to welcome you guys to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the dress code check. You may be seated. And now we have an announcement for YCI. YCI means Youth Commission International. We will meet on Tuesdays at 8 a.m. and this is a student-led um, club. We will meet at room 142 in the eighth grade building. And when you arrive, have your parents buzz in in the office and go to room 142. And now for an announcement from Ms. Rising. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mrs. Rising. If you are new to our school, I'm the eighth grade school counselor. My office is in the eighth grade building. And today I'm here to announce the beginning of applications for student council. New background, yeah, I like it better. Um, if you, again, are new to our school, our student council is made up of a group of students who just want to help our school be the best that it can be. Applications are gonna be in my office. There's a bulletin board, they're in pockets, so you can ask your homeroom teacher if you can grab a copy of the application as you go back and forth to lunch today, or your teacher can give you a different time of the day to come and grab it. I'm gonna be in there most of the day or your teachers will receive an email with PDF copies of the application and the contract that they can print for you in their classroom, whatever's easiest. So there's two parts to it. There is an application and then there's also a contract and you do need to return both and they need to be back to me or to your homeroom teacher by next Wednesday. So the application has a little N on it and then the contract, the first page has a bunch of places for you to sign. The contract your parent or guardian also has to sign. So that's important. I have to have both of them back. It looks like a lot. It's mostly reading. A um, lot of questions about student council. So let's start with the first one, which is, can I be on student council if I don't have a way to get to school at 8 in the morning? The answer is yes, because this year student council will meet during Titan time, and Titan time is at the end of the day. So in years past, I've talked to students who would have liked to participate in student council but could not because they didn't have transportation. So Titan time, notice I spilled coffee. I am not a morning person, so you don't have to be here early. Titan time is when we will meet for student council. Do I have to be elected to be on student council? No. You just have to say that you want to participate and you have to complete the application. And then we are gonna review the applications and ask for teacher recommendations. But really, if you want to be part of this organization, we want you to be part of the organization. What kinds of activities does Student Council sponsor? What do we do? Lots of things, but really that's gonna kind of be up to Student Council to decide. In the past, we've sponsored dances and community service projects and some other fundraisers, just things to make our school community better. But that, again, is up to you as a member. Here's a big one I heard yesterday. Do I have to talk in front of the whole student council or the whole school? No, you do not. You do not have to make speeches. You do not have to get on Titan Connect and do this, but we are gonna have a communications committee for students who do like to do that kind of stuff. And honestly, it's a great learning opportunity. Being able to talk in front of a group of people is a good life skill, but no, you don't have to. That is not a requirement. Here's one I heard last year. Do I have to be on honor roll to be on student council? No, 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 no. And as it turned out, this student really would have liked to participate, but had incorrect information that you had to have a particular grade point average. So no, it, it is not tied to your grades. Now, if you're struggling in your classes, if you're not passing a lot of your classes, we're gonna kinda take a thought about that and get you some support because our, our first thing here is to be successful students. But it has nothing to do with grades. We do expect student council members to be good examples of student leadership and to follow all the school rules and to be good examples for their classmates, but has nothing to do with grades. So I hope to see lots of you. I hope to see lots of applications. We're going to have a great time. If you've got any questions, either ask your homeroom teacher to let you come to my office or give a call or send me an email and we will get them answered. Thanks so much.
Remember to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make it a great day. The choice is yours.